Once your new Indy electric scooter has arrived, we know you'll be excited to head out for a test ride. But before you do, you'll need to set up the e-scooter and familiarise yourself with some of the key features, and we've pulled together this quick guide to help. Before getting started, carefully remove your e-scooter from its packaging. Check the box and make sure all the parts are included. There should be a user manual, inflation adapter, four stem bolts, Allen keys and a charger. Before riding it for the first time, it needs to be fully charged. Remove the cap over the charging port and plug in the charger. You can check the charge level on the LED display on the handlebars. Once fully charged, the green light will show on the charger. Now it's time to set up your e-scooter, starting with the handlebars. Carefully unfold the stem and lock it into place. And then insert the handlebar onto the stem, making sure the holes align and you don't trap any of the electrical wiring. Once in position, use the four bolts to secure it into place. That's half of the setup completed, and now it's time for the front brake. Pull the brake lever to expose the hole which the brake cable will thread through. Then thread the cable through and release the brake. Use two hands to pull the brake cable until it slots into place. Before moving on, check your tyres by squeezing them. They should feel firm and it's important to do this before every ride. And that's the setup complete. Now let's take a look at how your e-scooter works. To turn the e-scooter on, press and hold the power button until the LED display turns on. Your Indy has three power levels and will automatically select the last speed level you used. Double press the power button to change between these levels. We recommend practicing in low when using the scooter for the first time. When you've selected the right level, you can control the speed of the e-scooter using the thumb throttle. This won't automatically power the scooter and you'll need to kick off first before engaging the throttle. So make sure you're moving before trying to accelerate. When it comes to stopping, you can rely on a powerful drum brake and rear electronic brake. The front brake is operated using a lever and like when riding a bike, you need to engage the brake slowly. When starting out, we recommend practicing using the brake while riding in the low power level. When you pull the brake lever, it also activates the brake light at the rear of the scooter. On top of this brake light, your new e-scooter has inbuilt lights. These will help you be visible and can be turned on and off by pressing the power button once. And that's everything you need to know about your new e-scooter. It's time to head off for a test ride. For more features and to learn more about your e-scooter, please refer to your owner's manual. Why not also check out our e-scooter care package? For one year, our expert technicians will help keep your new e-scooter in tip-top condition. To find out more, check out the link in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe using the bell icon so you don't miss out on any future content.